So this is the closest anyone can get uh, other than emergency personnel into Fort McMurray. Uh, you can smell the smoke. You can definitely see the smoke. I want to show you our sort of newsroom on wheels. Uh, come on in. We've rented this RV. We've driven from Edmonton, which is about how long? Eight, like five plus hours. Five plus hours. Uh, mind the mess. There are two of us in here. So we've uh, had to kind of trick it up a little bit because of issues with power. When we turn the uh, turn the RV off, we don't have power. We need to keep this big camera powered. Uh, we've got, had to buy a whole bunch of extra sources here. Uh, we've got this extra camera that we're shooting with, uh, batteries. These, which I wasn't sure we were gonna need, but even being here just uh, for a couple of minutes, you can really feel it in your, in your throat. This is uh, the map that we've relied on to get here. This is the comfy duvet that was provided. My bed. Pete, these are for these are for uh, batteries. Batteries for the camera. Um, we've got a fridge, little bathroom, and this is where uh, where Pete sleeps. So we've kind of been bringing you all of our coverage and our journeys, uh, pretty much from when we landed at Edmonton uh, just about 24 hours ago to now. And we will be bringing you all kinds of other information, the very latest from Fort McMurray on City News tonight.